looks okay. Stay. No, I don't want to wear the jacket. Too much. Take her off. Indoors. I'm just trying to be fashionable. Want something else? No, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, my PA. You can stand off set, please. Hello, everybody. It is currently 10.04 p.m. I, I should not be yelling. I just got home from Whole Foods, and I needed to go grocery shopping because, A, I don't have that many groceries in my fridge, and then, B, over the weekend, my fridge stopped working overnight everything in my fridge pretty much went bad so i had to replenish a lot of things unfortunately and i also just picked up like a bunch of stuff today just to have groceries obviously lately i've been doing my grocery shopping at trader joe's because it is far more inexpensive and i like all their holiday stuff they have but every once in a while i will head over to whole foods because they do have quite a few like specialty things that i really 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 like to get and for someone who is dairy free they have a lot more dairy free options like fun snacks and stuff at whole foods it's kind of in that realm so I thought tonight, even though it's late, I'm just going to show you guys a bunch of the stuff that I picked up because I love Whole Foods. I just need to get to this. I love Whole Foods hauls because I think they're really fun. There's like a bunch of random stuff there. So first up, I have finally become a LaCroix drinker in case you're wondering. Is it LaCroix? LaCroix? LaCroix. It's just sparkling water that's flavored and for the longest time I was so against it and then I keep them in my office though in case someone wants them and one day I was really thirsty and just decided to try one. I am now hooked on them. They're so so good. I got a case of the peach pear flavor. I've never tried this. I've tried the pamphamoose which is like a melon kind of thing like a grapefruit. That one's good. I like the passion fruit one. This one. Mmm, this one's good. It's not like sweet at all. There's no sugar, no calories, no sodium. It's just like a sparkling water, but it's really good. Okay, next up, I came home and already started eating these, and I wanted to show you them. I picked them up because I saw Maggie McDonald eating them in a vlog today, and I wanted to try them. They're cauliflower tortilla chips. These things are so good. I already ate like 15 of them. They're good plain. I'm sure they'd be good with salsa or like guacamole. That's why I like Whole Foods. You can find like healthier alternatives to random things. So these are really yummy. Closed them up so they don't get stale. Okay. Moving on. There is no order to this. I'm just pulling everything out. Okay, first up, I got some rice cakes. I like to use these sometimes as a snack with like avocado on top, like a little avocado toast, or just like a snack in general. These are the tamari with seaweed flavor. I've never tried this one. Usually I just get like the plain, lightly salted, if not no salt ones, but wanted to try those. I also picked up, oh, I got some ingredients because I had this craving to make healthy edible cookie dough. I looked up a recipe and they had this really good vegan paleo one online. So I'm gonna try that eventually. I was gonna do it tonight, but I ate too many tortilla chips so now I'm not hungry anymore. So soon I'll do that. But for that recipe, I needed coconut flour as well as finely milled almond flour. You also need vanilla extract, maple syrup, and then coconut oil, which I'll find that eventually. I don't know where that went. I got these coconut flour tortillas. They're like wraps. You can use these to make like burrito kind of things essentially, like a wrap. So I'm gonna try those out. Never tried those before. I got some turkey bacon because I'm gonna make him a breakfast sandwich. So I got things to make that. So I got turkey bacon. I got another loaf of my favorite bread to make avocado toast on. This is the Dave's Killer Bread Thin Sliced. It's the 21 whole grains and seeds. I like it because they're small enough so you can have two pieces of avocado toast if you're not like overly full. Then I saw these are new. Babe, look what I got. They're English muffins from our bread brand. So I got these to make him breakfast sandwiches. They are organic English muffins. Again, they're like really good for you. There's 20 grams of whole grains in one of these, so that's really good. Lots of fiber, which is awesome. Then I picked up a bag of my favorite coconut, the unsweetened shredded coconut. I'm gonna make coconut chicken tenders this week for lunch or something, so I grabbed this so I could do that. Then last but not least in here, I grabbed this, which I saw this online, and I don't know if you can tell, but I have been incorporating more like starches back into my diet not like an immense amount I'll usually have like some avocado toast in the morning sometimes like a snack or something or like maybe some rice at dinner like I just kind of space it out where I love sweet potatoes too but just like a little bit not like a mass amount but I've just been kind of incorporating that back into my diet and I found this here which is called right rice I found it in the section where they had the rice obviously apparently it is rice made out of vegetables oh it's lentil flour chickpea flour pea fiber rice flour sunflower oil and salt so I wanted to give it a try this is the original flavor and then this one is the garlic herb. They also had like a spicy one, I think, and then one other one, but I just decided to try those two because they felt pretty safe. So I'll let you know how that goes. Bag number two. 
we have a bunch of bananas to have as a snack and to put into my protein shakes when I have those in the morning. I got him cream cheese. I got you normal cream cheese. I've been making him eat my vegan one and he is not a, not, are you a fan? Uh, I like it. He likes it. Okay. I got a bag of rice cauliflower, which is my favorite thing ever, whether it's to make like fried rice with it with rice cauliflower or mash this up into a cauliflower mash. That's been really good. Bag of spinach for protein shakes and just to like cook for breakfast. I love it so much. I got a little thing of all natural raw whole macadamias. So, so good. These are like my favorite nuts, but you have to be careful because they're really high in fat. So got those, got a couple sweet potatoes to cut into sweet potato fries and air fry them. A little bag of fingerling potatoes. Sometimes if I want like a little potato at breakfast or something, I'll take like three of these and then chop them up and then air fry them and just have like a little bit on the side. I got some sweet baby lettuces, not to be confused with sweet baby rice. I got a little baby thing of blueberries just to have with like oatmeal. I don't know, I don't really eat oatmeal. I don't know why I said that. I got medjool dates, which I tried one of these at Alicia's house just plain the other day. It's so good, it tastes like toffee. I've been like obsessed with them. One of my favorite like little treat things to do is to take one and then you take the pit out and then you put almond butter on the inside and then dip it in some vegan chocolate and it tastes like a Snickers bar. I learned that from Alexa Lozzi. Mmm, but they're so good. Just eat plain or you can throw them in your shakes if you want them to be a little sweeter. Where do I put my date? I'll rest her there. Okay, I went nuts and I got three bags of my favorite chocolate chips. This brand is the Enjoy Life. These are like vegan. They're obviously like allergy friendly, dairy free. If you wanna pause it, it's free from all of those ingredients. I don't know what's in there, but there's enough in there to make a chocolate chip. So I like these a lot to put in like the cookie dough that I'm gonna make eventually, or if you wanna just sprinkle some like on top of your morning shake, or if you just like want a couple of chocolate chips. If you have a chocolate craving, it's good. So I got the semi-sweet mega chunks, which I thought could be good in my little dough. I got some mini chips here. Those will be really yummy. And then I also got these morsels. These are the dark ones. So I'm very excited. They sound good. I've, I've had them before and they're really yummy. Next up, I got this party pack of Siete chips. You guys, these things are insane. We're obsessed with them. They're like very thin. They're grain-free tortilla chips. I usually buy the actual bag of chips, but then I will eat the entire bag in one sitting. So I can't do that anymore. So I got these like little individually wrapped like packs you can pack in like a lunch or something. So at least there's like some sort of portion control going on because I have an actual issue. Why is my floor wet? Ew. Okay, next up I picked up a pack of like little mini peppers. These are really awesome. I like to actually make tuna salad and then cut these in half and then fill it up like a little boat. These are really yummy. How many times have I said yummy? How annoying. I love this vegan cheese. It's my favorite of all time. The Daya mozzarella style shreds. They have one at Trader Joe's that is a really good alternative, but the first ingredient in that one is like some sort of oil. This one, the oil is like a little bit further down on the ingredients list. So I prefer this one for sure, but they're both really yummy. God, I need to stop saying that. How annoying. I picked up a dozen pasture raised brown eggs. I'll go through this in less than a week. I love eggs so much. Then I got some ground turkey because I'm always eating ground turkey. I also got some chicken thighs because they were out of chicken breasts. So I'm just gonna have that this week. Oh, here's my coconut oil. And I found this like cool packaging where it came like this. So it's like an easy little squeezy tube kind of thing. So I'll be putting that in my cookie dough. I have some Colby Jack here to put on the breakfast sandwiches in the morning, not for me, but for him. And then I got some no salt added chicken breast. So I can throw this in a sandwich if I want or if I'm doing like lighter carbs You can use this alone put some like mustard and vegetables like avocado tomato lettuce and then roll it up like a little turkey wrap It's really good or a chicken wrap rather last bag. We have all my other pro Oh, we have a bag of little baby avocados that are rock hard So it's gonna be a little while but eventually they will be ripe enough to use Oh, I now see what was in that bag. I got a spaghetti squash so I can make some spit Oh, maybe I'll do some spaghetti squash lasagna this week with my ground turkey That'd be really good. Okay, spaghetti squash. I also got two delicata squashes, which I'm very sad that fall is coming to an end. I'm excited for Christmas, but I have been like thriving with the squash season lately. This, I chop up, I chop in half, then I quarter them, throw them in my air fryer. It is so good. I got two yellow onions as well. Oh my gosh, this is getting kind of crazy. Okay, and then two heirloom tomatoes to chop up and put on top of my toast because heirloom tomatoes are massive and I like just a thick slice of tomato on top, on top of my egg. Ooh, that's what I want tomorrow. And last but not least, I had to restock a bunch of sauces that I ran out of that are my favorites ever. First of all, I've gone through like five bottles of this. 
It's the Coconut Secret Coconut Aminos Garlic Sauce. This is next level. It is so good. So I got that one, and I love that one so much that I also picked up this flavor, which I've never tried. It's their teriyaki sauce. I also got a new bottle of just coconut aminos because I ran out. I really, really, really like the Trader Joe's version. I haven't tried this one before. It's called Big Tree, but the Trader Joe's ones are really cheap, and they're really yummy. Okay. Yay! Okay. Last but not least. I, let me show you. I don't know if you can truly see, this bottle is on its last leg. I have maybe like two more uses out of this. I was having trouble finding this anywhere. But then when I went today, they had like five bottles. So I bought two of them to make sure that I have a backup. This is the Ninja Squirrel Coconut Sriracha Hot Sauce. Take a look at it. If you see it, go get it. It is the best hot sauce I've ever tried. This brand also has like a sriracha. I tried it, not into it. I still prefer the one with the green cap, like the iconic one, but this is the best thing ever, like the coconut one. It's so yummy. It's really, really spicy. You don't need too much, and it's really good on like fish, chicken, any sort of meat. It's incredible. I cook with it all the time. Wanted to share that, but that is my random Whole Foods haul. I'm gonna eat my date and uh, put all this away. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Catch you soon. Bye.